I'm not that smart enough to realize that when I got baptized October 17, 2009, almost 13 years ago, that when I came out that water, I'd be living this type of life. This is something I ain't never said before, and I know this is the spirit speaking directly to some of you. I used to Came a long way, that's what the song say. And I could do all things, I could do all things, yeah, I could do all things, yeah. And your story is a perfect example of not giving up on something like you matter. Yeah. What, what you're doing is very important. Got it. And we see you, we Got see it. you doing that, you're showing up every day. Got it. And so some of the folks, about approximately 1,100 people on, some of them I'm sure last year, the vast majority, half and half, in the flu, yeah. Yeah, we do have some return people. I'm pretty happy to share, Andy is actually gonna announce this. We did 1,500 registrations this year. 1,500, awesome. That's yeah, thank you for not just passing these kids along. Thank you for not just taking, not, not taking it personal when they do act up and they do give you a hard time. Thank you for being mindful enough to know that there is something else going on on the inside which is causing the behavior to be that way in the classroom. I believe you can have abundance at your school and in your home. I believe you can have it both, but you might have to start saying no so that internally you can say yes. Jeremy, you have reminded mm. the educators that we make a difference. Mm. Michelle Stevens said, thank you for reminding us why we're here mm. and getting us back on fire mm. for educating these young minds. Jordan Crouch said, this is what I wish my students know, mm. how much I love and care for them on a daily basis. Their struggles are my struggles. Their triumphs are mine. Mm. And Christine said, in tears, thinking about how I wanted to quit teaching after 20 years because I was starting to think it's not worth it. You are reminding me why it's all worth it. Man, y'all, I'm excited. You know, this is day three of our Elite Speakers Mastermind here in Mexico. Day two of me being here, I missed the first day because I had a speaking engagement, man, but I got me a good night's nice rest. I got me a breakfast, you know what I said? I got me a good workout in this morning, and now I'm about to go in here, man, and give them this word that God put on my heart. The word of God says in Ephesians 3, I'm gonna read 14 through 21. It says something. It said, now unto him who is able to do immeasurably more, like more? <laughs> like, like more, it, it, did, it did not say, now unto him who can do exceedingly and abundantly according to what you ask or think. It said more than what. Y'all, I'm experiencing more. I am experiencing more. So my prayer for you is to be able to walk away today and know exactly what you gotta do so that you can experience more. So off the, off the top, you need to get out your, it ain't never been you. It's always been, it ain't never been Jeremy. You know how many cats are talented that's barely able to pay their bills? You know how many guys that have the gift of gab? How many guys that got outgoing personalities? Come on, y'all. You know how many more guys that are more brilliant than me? It said now unto him. It's always been God. I'm not that smart enough to realize that when I got baptized October 17, 2009, almost 13 years ago, that when I came out that water, I'd be living this type of life. This is something I ain't never said before, and I know this is the spirit speaking directly to some of you. I used to feel like, like the more those extra things I want to get was like the blessings, but I'm realizing now that God is like, it's also grace. By His power, not by your gifts, not by your talents, by his power. The anointing, the crushing you go through, that's gonna give you that strength, that's gonna give you that edge, that advantage, but it comes from him at work inside of us. All right, look, so I gave that word, and so we got a pretty full day. You know, next we're about to have um, some of our different people in our elite community speak on stage, and we're gonna have them kind of do their thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, a few people, I'm sure, gonna win some Drop Mic Awards, and then we got Dewan and Jessica that's gonna take the stage and speak, man. It's gonna be a full day. So I'm not just giving the game and training, but I got other coaches that's giving game and training, and we're putting our people on stage as well.
Man, y'all, day three, um, the ending, the finale, you know what I'm saying, of our Speakers Elite Mastermind here in Cancun. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I'm full, man. Um, I spoke this morning, gave a word that God gave me and some training, you know what I'm saying? And then we have more of our speakers and our Speakers Elite on stage doing their thing. Then my man, Dewan, who is our mentalist and behavior specialist and key and, and mindset coach, came up and gave a brilliant training. Then Jessica, Jessica Lundy, our new sis, our new team member, she's our keynote writing coach. She came up there and killed it, showed them like, this is how you do. She's an award-winning journalist and news anchor uh, and professional speaker, six figures, killing it. She's on the squad now. And we got the best team, you feel me? Coach Crump, he's such a mighty leader, such a mighty man of God. Like we got a really great team. And after everything, and we was on stage and we were speaking, and uh, we did interviews with the people, you know, we did testimonials, everything we need to create their professional speakers for real. And uh, at, the, at the end of the day, it was important for me to have the whole team get up on stage and just say thank you, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody's like, oh, Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. And Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy has an amazing, amazing anointed team. So it felt good to have the whole squad on stage to just let the world know like, yo, this is my team, and I wouldn't be nothing without them. And they've really helped us, you know what I'm saying, add the value and do what we do, man. So it was good to do that. And then to see everybody dancing afterwards with a cha-cha slide, slide to the left, you know what I'm saying? Chris Carr, everybody clap your hands, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me, you like to look up your hands, boy. Like, man, we had a good time, man. And uh, I promise you, and I say this with all due respect, but there is no other speakers program from our Speakers Academy and then our Speakers Elite that is so anointed and powerful. Like we are always looking for more ways to add value. I have a crazy team. We didn't just come to Cancun, Mexico to have a good time and kick it. I mean, we came to service the people in our Speakers Elite program at the highest level, man. So I'm proud of my team. I'm proud of what we built, you know what I'm saying? And I'm proud to know that God can use some knuckleheads like us, man. We just get started. Mm. Stay tuned. Let's get it.